Welcome to our next lesson in SolidWorks 2011. In this lesson, we're going to be creating a two-dimensional sketch fillet. For more videos on SolidWorks, please visit our website at video-tutorials.net. Let's begin. We'll launch a new part document. Click on New. Now select Part and OK. And let's insert a sketch on the top plane. Right-click, Insert Sketch. Now activate the Rectangle tool, and I'll drop a rectangle about here. Now the Line tool, and I'll create a line chain. Right-click, End Chain. And let's create a couple more lines. Right-click and select to close the tool. Now we're ready to activate the Fillet command. We'll use the Sketch Fillet option. We've got a second option, the Sketch Chamfer. We'll be learning about this later on. For this example, we'll be working with the fillet. First thing to do is input a radius value for the fillet. Now to apply the fillet, I can simply click on the corners or select lines. When I'm done, click Apply, and here is our fillet. And an equal relation is applied to the two fillets. In case you don't see these relations in green squares, you can go to View on the main menu. Let's just close the Property Manager and select Sketch Relations. And let's show the sketch relations again. Let's undo our last fillet. Deselect all entities in the graphic area by clicking in blank space and activate the fillet command again. For the radius, 10 millimeters is fine. Now let's check dimension each fillet. We'll select these three corners. Let's click Apply. Instead of adding an equal relation, SolidWorks has applied dimensions to each individual fillet. OK, let's undo those fillets. And let's click in blank space to deselect everything. Activate the fillet command again. Let's take a look at the second option here, Keep Constrained Corners. We'll check it out. Let's begin by selecting a corner in the graphic area. Click Apply. Nothing happens. Let's undo that. Now let's apply dimensions. I'm going to accept the default value. And let's apply the fillet tool again. I'll select this corner. For the radius, let's make it 15 millimeters. Tab to register and apply. And now SolidWorks keeps the corners constrained. In order to create a fillet, the lines don't actually have to touch each other. Let's take a look at my next example here. I can select these two lines, and here's a preview of the fillet. Let's click Apply. If the lines intersect, keep in mind that the location at which and the order in which you select the lines will impact your results. Let's make our selections and click Apply. Undo. And let's try it again. Fillet command. We'll use the same two lines, but our selections will be different. I'll select on this side and this side. Apply. As you can see, the fillet looks significantly different from the first one. This concludes our lesson about creating a 2D sketch fillet in SolidWorks 2011.